lot of things I want to get done in my plant. The most important of which is getting some plants potted up. I've been putting it off because I have such a hard time committing to planters, but I think I found the things that are important to me when I'm putting a plant into a pot that makes me want to keep that plant in that pot, if that makes sense. So not necessarily just like material or size wise, but like looks wise, a plant that'll look good with your planter. Lots of repotting to do, so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna start off by potting up this plant, which is a philodendron subhastatum. This is a cutting from my mother plant, which lives downstairs in my six foot terrarium. It is a little bit wilty because clearly, I mean, it's been sitting out just like as a cutting in air. I didn't even have it in water. That's where this guy's at. And it's bent a little bit weird because it was like pushed against the top of the terrarium. I started reading up on codex plants a little bit more. I read that you should soak them in water before you pot them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I hope that that's true. I hope this isn't like, you know how everybody says to water your orchids with ice cubes. I hope that this isn't the equivalent of that for codex plants. So let me know if that's wrong. Oh, it's a variegated Burl Marks maybe? Not a Burl Marks fantasy, just Burl Marks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. This guy needs repotted so desperately you can see so many roots coming out of the bottom. It's just starting to yellow and I'm having a really hard time keeping it watered. So that's my sign that it's time to get it potted up. Oh my gosh. It is so snug. Wow. <gasps> yeah, this poor guy, this poor, poor thing. This is probably my most root bound plant. Like I obviously haven't seen all the roots on my plants right now. The roots were freaking attaching themselves <laughs> around the pot so badly. That was really hard to pull out. Okay, I'm gonna try and break up, I don't know, this root ball and try to get some of this old, old soil out. I think this plant has been in this pot for around three years now. It needs, it needs some fresh, potting soil. Sometimes I will just take out the root ball and like pot it up as it is in a bigger size and I'll just leave the used soil in the middle, which like, I think that's fine too, but I just want to give it some fresh everything. <laughs> it, it needs a little refresh. I think it'll appreciate me getting rid of this old soil. I would appreciate it if I was a plant. That, that was in this. So I recently ordered some clear planters like this off of Amazon. I got them in a few different sizes, but this is, I did skip eight inch, which this pot's a six inch, eight inch would be the next step. Is this 10 inch? I'm pretty sure this is 10 inch. I could be wrong about that, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pot it in here. Clearly it needs to go like up. And if I put it in an eight inch pot, like this was gonna fill up an eight inch pot. So I feel comfortable going up to this size and I can't remember if it's 10 or 12. This does not seem like a foot. I'm pretty sure it's 10. I just have my potting mix here. This is the one you watched me mix up. Well, some of you watched me mix up my Aeroid potting mix video. So yeah, it is this exact thing that I did. Put like a scoop and a half at the bottom. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put me plant in there, just plop her in. Wow, it's gonna like this so much more and it's gonna grow so big and be so much less sad, hopefully. <laughs> Try to get all these aerial roots in here. I'm gonna do it backwards so you can like actually see what I'm doing. You know what, actually really quick, I'm gonna pull off some of these like dying leaves while we're here. Back fill her up. You guys, this is a plant I do not know why. I've known this needed to be done for so long, but I've just, I've put it off for like a year maybe even two years. Well, okay, more like more likely a year. Mm, I don't know, but I put it off. And this plant was so beautiful before I <laughs> decided not to repot it. I like love, hate when my plants get big because obviously I love it. They're, you know, doing well and it's a good sign that I'm doing something right. But I also hate it because then I have to use more, like it's just more expensive to pot them up the bigger they get. I'm using like so much of this mix right now to fill up this one plant. I know it's not the end of the world. It's just something that's in the back of my mind. When my plants start getting big, I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna have to use so much potting mix <laughs> next time I repot you. Cute. And give her a little tap tap. Oh, it looks great, okay. Well, I think. Oh my gosh, should I have given her a post to climb up? 
You know what? We're gonna backtrack a bit because I forgot Ryan brought me home these pine slabs, which are so pretty. I think, I do think I want this side on the front and this side up top since it's like, I don't know, the color looks cool and it has a lot of knots right here. Um, anyway, I think I wanna put this in here for this plant to climb up. I think that'll look really cute and it'll just help it. It's my little apology to the plant for not repotting it for so long. Um, so I'm actually gonna dump out this mix and kind of start over. Ah, oh gosh. Whew. Okay, that was messy. Pushing in this board like, like there. So it's not directly in the middle. It's actually a little bit back, but it's also not pushed against the back of the thing. You know, like, I don't know if you can tell what I'm saying there. Now I'm gonna add my plant. Oh no. See, okay, this is the kind of thing I don't want. Like just a big air pocket. I think I fixed it. I just kind of shimmied some soil down there. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's much, much better. Isn't it pretty? And it just, I don't know, it really makes the plants pop. Pop! Next, we're going to repot this philodendron subhastatum, which I already told you about. Um, I think I'm gonna pull off this bottom leaf. Yeah. Yeah, that was, the, that was the right choice. I am just going to pot it up inside of the, it's not, it's like the balsam, is that what it's called? The reason I didn't pot this up <laughs> earlier is because I was having a really hard time finding a pot I wanted to plant this in. The undersides are kind of red, so it just didn't look good with other colors. And even this one, I'm not like super in love, but this is definitely the best. Um, I'll show you it with some different colored planters, so like, I mean, the red isn't terrible. Yeah, I don't like that. I do think a black planter would have looked really nice with this, but I just did not have the right size of black planter. See, I just don't like the red with the terracotta. So I was having a really hard time. It works out. I'm gonna plant it into this pot. I did clean out the inside. There's no more roots in there. I did also prepare this slab of pine. I think this is pine. Is it? I don't know how to tell. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and add in some soil mix. I'm making all sorts of messes over here. You hear? Maybe a little more. Because where this is a little bit shorter, I don't want it to sit like all the way down to the pot because then the plant only has this much to grow up. And if I do it like this, then you know, there's much more space for it to grow up. The placement, I'm giving it. So not directly in the center, but also not pressed all the way on the back. I'm, I'm putting it so that I can plant the plant in the center of the pot and it can grow up the plank still. That's how I'm doing it. Make sure all the roots are pointing downward and fill her in. I do also like to kind of tie up the plant in the beginning. I will like, once the plant has started to grow, cut this string off, but just to help it establish itself a little bit onto the pole or to start, I don't know, start growing in the direction it needs to, I do like to tie it up. Wow, I tied that really loose. Don't get me wrong, like I know tying it like this isn't going to solve all my problems because if the light source isn't coming from like directly above or somewhere straight on, then the plant is going to try to lean to get the amount of light it needs. So if the light was like over here, the plant of course would lean this way. So tying it up isn't really going to do much. I'm gonna try and put it somewhere where the light will hit it from above to help it grow up the pole. I like it. It looks a little bit awkward, but like I said, it'll take some time for it to you know grow in. And once it does, wow. Wow, this is just gonna be a beaut. This is one of my new plants, the Monstera subpinata I got. I did also mount it onto a plank. I did not put the mineral oil on it. You can see the difference between color of this one 
and the color of this one just deepens it, makes it a little more ready. That's beside the point. It is beginning to unfurl its newest leaf. It did end up getting a little bit of browning, which is pretty typical when you get a new plant, especially in the male. I don't know, this is just kind of something I expect when I get new plants like this, but it looks so cute. I'm really, really happy I got this plant. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, I know this is so random, but while I was waiting for my kids to fall asleep so I could continue filming, I was just kind of thinking about why the past few years I kind of lost my joy of keeping plants. You know what? I narrowed it down to the fact that I kind of lost like my self-identity because I wasn't, my self-identity was literally strictly on the internet, A, because I was having a baby, B, and like couldn't really leave the house because you don't want your baby to get sick, you know? Um, B, because of COVID, so that just exasperated it. Is that the word? Exasperated when it like makes it worse? Anyway, I kind of lost my self-identity and my identity became what I was seeing on the internet because I was just constantly scrolling. And the way I realized this is because I was trying to make my house exactly like the houses I saw on the internet, you know? And like, normally I'm somebody who likes clutter. I like it to be kind of messy looking with lots of colors and textures. And I was trying to keep it as clutter free as possible. Like I put away all my shelving units and all that stuff, but it's like, I like having stuff around me. I like the house to feel full. Same with my plants. I like to have a variety of different plants. Somewhere in my little pea brain made that connection subconsciously, like I never had that thought, but looking back now, I know that's what I was doing anyway. So I was kind of trying to like declutter my home, which I love clutter. If you guys saw my last house, you'd know I love clutter. I love plants everywhere. I love it to look kind of messy, but like not messy. Cause it's not messy. It's just like, there's stuff everywhere, you know? Anyway, when I stopped trying to do that, then that's when I kind of lost my joy. And even that, like I was buying plants that I felt the internet wanted to see. So like Hoya, Philodendron, Monstera, which don't get me wrong. I love those plants, but I don't know. I was just really steering away from plants that I initially was really drawn to. So like I got rid of my bridal veil vine, which is one of my all time favorite plants because it didn't fit the like internet. I don't like, oh, that's, this sounds so stupid. This sounds so weird and like illogical, random, I guess, but that's really how I was feeling. I was like getting rid of the things I liked because I wanted to appease like you guys. And I know it's not necessarily you guys, but just like the general internet population. <laughs> But okay, my point to this, there is a point to this. I have been just doing things that I feel excited about now and like caring for my plants, how I wanna take care of them, not how people on the internet have told me I needed to take care of them, if that makes sense. Um, displaying them in ways that I really like, not necessarily with the, that I think the internet would really like. You, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, that's kind of how I found my joy in plants again. And I did a video a long time ago about burnout from plants and like, that's one thing, but like, this is another thing that goes along with that, I feel like. So I just kind of had that revelation randomly while I was just sitting there on my counter twiddling my thumbs. Weird, huh? I want to go show you some of the weird ways I'm displaying my plants or like not weird ways I'm displaying my plants, but things that I've done with my plants that make me feel excited about them again. So let me show you. Okay, so this is my bedroom where I, re I rearranged this not that long ago, but once I decided to put these lights here, these are mother grow lights. I decided the thing I put on the wall didn't like fit. I have different plans for this now, but anyway, that's beside the point. I freaking love this. It's so messy. The grow lights are cool. And don't get me wrong, like I freaking, I love it. But I know Architectural Digest is not going to be contacting me anytime soon to do like a house tour. <laughs> I know that, but I still freaking love it, okay? I love this, like it's just so weird. You know, okay, that's kind of another point I had. This is so random, but I hope you like maybe can relate to it or like get something from it, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm just feeling like spewing all my thoughts, I guess. I was trying to force my plants to grow certain ways, which to an extent I kind of am now because like I'm trying to grow them up posts and stuff. But like, I just really wanted my plants to look a certain way instead of trying to incorporate plants like as they are, if that makes sense. So like an example is this. This is a lemon lime, upright lemon lime philodendron with a little bit of Thai sunrise philodendron mixed in that has just outgrown its pot, which yes, I'm going to repot it. But this plant for a long time, I freaking hated because 
it's like weird. It just is weird. I love it now and it makes me really love keeping plants again for some reason. I don't know what changed, but just suddenly I realized that I like them when they're like wild and just kind of overtaking and I don't know, doing their own thing and not being forced to be like the perfect little cutting. That's kind of the other thing. I was chopping up my plants so much to sell that I was no longer liking my mother plants because they were like so sparse. They became too much of like a business for me. So I kind of lost my love, which don't get me wrong. Like I still love taking cuttings, but for my own collection now, I think there's a, a fungus gnat. So yeah, I'm just kind of doing whatever the hell I wanna do. And even though this looks like so bad, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna do something really cool right here since I didn't end up liking those planters after I added the grow lights. I just feel like that's a good example. Like that's so probably fugly. It looks bad, but in my good way, you know? Same with like this little section. So this to me is very, very, very reminiscent of my old house where I just kind of let things go. I put plants where I knew they would get light and they would grow and I didn't really care like what it looked like other than making sure the plants were in <laughs> sufficient lighted spots. This is kind of the first thing I did that made me start to realize all of this and that like this really, this whole section here, just kind of putting a bunch of things I like all together and even though they don't look good necessarily together, like I like the individual things and I don't know, does that make any sense? You get what I'm saying? Do you get, please. I love this mirror, I love the black scratched up table. This was a $15 table from Walmart. For the last little while I wanted to get rid of it. No, I freaking love this table because it's all scratched up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, look, this plant is just going crazy. That's cool, I'm glad it's happy in here. Yeah, I just like wanna mix everything together. All my stuff, and I want it to look so random and planty. Here's something else that I did that is like so small, but I just love. So this is my ficus Audrey, and this is a planter that one of my friends from college made and sent to me couple years ago it has a Kalanchoe donkey ear in it. Anyway, I hung it up from my ficus Audrey tree and like, I think it's so cute. And then down here I put, I'm gonna start doing this where I let my like plants grow up other plants. So this is a Dio, Dioscoria discolor, I think. It's kind of starting to grow. It's just like a little cutting. I'm gonna let it grow up this plant and it's gonna be so cool, like stuff like that makes me feel motivated and like excited again. So just kind of switching things up, I guess. And also, you know what else makes me happy? So, okay, these planters, I don't know if I've shown these in my video. I talked about them a lot on Instagram and even TikTok actually, but decided to plant this Neolipus or something fern into this. It's like growing and it's doing really, really well for me. So new leaf that's about to open up right there. So it feels good to switch it up and just buy plants that like this Adenia Glauca, I've never seen one of these before. I was just perusing Etsy and I decided I liked it. And instead of being like, no, people won't like that. I just bought it because I know I liked it, you know? That's kind of where I'm at right now. And I don't know, it just has been a game changer for me. Oh my gosh, and look at this planter I bought. I forgot I need to pot something into this. I kind of forgot I, I got this. And it's so weird, like I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. Maybe I'll put one of my Codex plants in it. But it's so cool and weird. Philodendron rugosum, I already love this plant, but just the fact that Ryan brought me home these like planks of wood and I decided to put it on there and it's just like a thing. It's like a whole thing. It's like a freaking piece of artwork, you know? And oh, this passiflora is so beautiful and different and unique. And I don't know, I'm just like really having fun with my plants again and I'm so grateful because for a long time, there were a lot of days that I was like, I'm gonna get rid of my plants. Like genuinely, I thought I wanted to get rid of all my plants and I don't anymore because I'm having fun with them again. And I don't know what the point of this is. I just was thinking and we're having a plant vlog and this is kind of pertaining, well actually quite a bit pertaining to plants so I thought I would include it, but in case anybody else knows what I'm saying, just do whatever the f you want to do <laughs> at the end of the day. <laughs> That's the world of this story. And I'm going to show you really quick. So I actually made a new planter. If you guys know, if you've followed me for a while, you know I love making planters out of polymer clay. This is one I made recently. I think it turned out so nice. It was exactly what I wanted. It's a little rough because I haven't made a planter in like at least a year now. So it was really fun and therapeutic to do this. I highly recommend, I don't know, trying making your own planters at some point. I'm gonna take a ceramics class, like I'm really feeling it. Anyway, okay, I have a few different planters that 
I might want to pot these codex plants in. And actually I already know that so, okay, if you don't remember these, these codex plants are the ones I put into this to soak in water earlier. It's been a few hours, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pot them. Um, I know already that I wanna put the Philanthus mirabilis in this planter. I think the colors of this will really make the colors of this plant pop once it decides to grow. I've never planted a codex plant before, but I have been reading a lot about it and I should, according, according to the internet, I should be okay to just put my regular soil mix down here. So I'm gonna put a layer of the mix. And then I'm just gonna set the codex on the mix. I'm gonna add this, which is bonsai mix to the top. So really the only part that's like in the soil is these little root things where the roots are gonna come out of. So yeah, I'm just kind of shimmying it in there like that. A layer of the, let me wipe off, why is that so dirty? Okay, that's better. And then I'm gonna add a layer of the bonsai mix around the outside of it. And I'm not trying to cover like the whole bowl. bowl. I'm just trying to, I don't know, make it look a little nicer. I hope this was okay to do. I hope I did it right. My plan is going forward with these, I'm just gonna keep a very close watch on them to look for signs that something is wrong or something is right. And if it's right, I'll stop stressing if something is wrong, like, I don't know if the bulb seems like it's molding or something, I'll adjust and go from there. And then, okay. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. Okay, right now it's just kind of like a stick, but it's gonna be so cute when it grows. Now for this next one, I can't decide. So I, I was thinking of doing this, but I think I could get away with putting like a philodendron in this. So I'm probably not gonna use that planter. This one or this one. I'm kind of leaning toward this one. No, I think I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna save this one for a different codex plant that's on my wish list, which you guys, or a, maybe a bonsai or something. Okay, and I'm just gonna do the same thing. Oh, I should pull out this tape that says the dimensions. So the dimensions of this planter are 1.72 inches um, high and then 3.44 inches across. That's what this tape says. So it is very small, but that's okay. I do think this mix will be really good for these because apparently they like not retaining mix, like a very moisture flowing mix. How do you say that? What's the word I'm looking for? Now, the hard part is trying to find out which direction I'm going to face this. So from what I'm reading online, looking at all of these little things, I think this, I think this little, guy right here is where the actual growth is going to happen because kind of indents and then there's a little bit of like an out dent like growth there and all of the other ones are out dented so you're looking from what the internet was telling me you're looking for like a more belly button kind of shape and that's the most belly button shape there is so I'm just going to roll with keeping this part upward and hope that it's right and if it's not then you know what I will re-examine <laughs> and adjust, like I was saying. So I'm just gonna make sure that where most of the little root things, root knots are, oh wait, is that it? I'm going to put them in the soil. So I'm gonna kind of face it a little diagonally like that. And then again, just fill around it with, with this rock mix, this bonsai mix. And okay, my point of adding the bonsai mix is one, it's gonna look like a lot cuter, I think. So it can go a little bit higher up on the plant without me having to worry so much about the moisture retaining properties of my potting mix, like holding water next to the codex for too long because apparently they rot like super, super easily. So I'm just trying to avoid that and water is gonna just run right through this bonsai stuff, I think. I mean, from what I've read online, this is all what I've read online. I've never kept a codex, so I don't know anything like yet, but I, I don't know, we'll see. I'm just gonna wing it, keep an eye on it. That's what we are left with. So here's our two cute little bulbs. I think they look so nice. And I love, I bought both of these planters on Etsy. I've been really into handmade like ceramic planters. I'm excited for these babies to grow. I hope this is acceptable. I'm gonna actually go ahead and spray the rocks. And I'm gonna go put these under my grow lights. They're so freaking weird, but they're gonna be so cool one day.
If you have any tips for these plants, if you've kept them before, please let me know. This is the one I'm mostly worried about. This one was pretty, uh, pretty clear where the growth was gonna come from, but this one I'm a little bit more unsure about. And where it is so small, it's kind of hard to tell where the correct like indent thing for new growth is, but I, I think it's that one because this kind of indents and then outdents like a belly button, which is what the internet said. Let me know and I'll keep you posted on if they grow or not. Oh yeah, so there's that thing I was just showing you. Anyway, I'm gonna turn off. No, it's fine. I'm gonna just put those bulbs over here for right now. Um, yes, this is getting overtaken and like too wild for my taste. I do wanna like reorganize it, but I'm waiting for a day when I am home alone and Ryan takes the boys so I can just really do it and not have to like go back and forth between the kids and my plants and stuff. That's when I start to get stressed out. I don't even bother doing that anymore. Here they are, they're so cute and they're little planters and they're just like nubs, little weirdos. Like I said, they're just gonna live here. I mean, they'll stay here for a while probably. They are just going in random spots right now until I get around to organizing this in a way I like more. So this is where they'll be. Hopefully they'll like this direct, pretty direct light.